everybody, it's Chris from Sideshow Gamma. We are back at the table again today with another viewer submitted strategy. This one comes from C Handy. So C Handy sent me this strategy and we're gonna roll it out today. We're calling this strategy, didn't provide me a name, so we're calling it Freedom! That's what we're going for. So he actually spells this out in the email that there's different styles of play for a random roller, for a controlled shooter, and if it's a choppy table. So if it's a choppy table, we pull everything down and we just wait for the next shooter. Today, we're going to play this strategy as a controlled shooter as best we can. It may be random. I don't know. So what it does is we've got a $2,000 bankroll, and we are going to start with a, uh, let's say it's a $15 table, all right? Because it's... When he gets down to the minimum bet, it's about 66. So we're going to do $15 out of our bankroll. Let's get a point, and then we'll talk through it. So let me get some dice here. Got some dice. Ooh, got a hard four. So let's see what we can do here. We got our 5-4 and our 5-4 here. Feeling nice and good grip here. All right. We're looking down there at the landing zone. And away we go. A little off on the dice, but it's going to be a 3-1-4 Big Joe from Craftsmaster Journey showing up first thing today. First thing. 3-1-4. All right. So let's mark it up. I think I clicked on the box. Let's mark that 3-1. So now here's what we do. This is how it's explained. We're going to get the, tw the, the 4 and the 10 for 25 each. Boom, yeah. Boom, yeah. And then we're going to go 36 on all the other place bets. So let's get those out there. All right. We're going to get our 36 out there. Now, you're probably thinking, why would you do 36 on the 5 and 9? Well, it's going to pay 50 every single time. So we're going to get that out there. And we need to get some change. So let's get another right here. There's five dollars for that. Put that up here, and we are going to put 36, 36, 36. Makes that six and eight proper, and the five and nine will play 50. Put a dollar back up in the rail here. So here's what we do for a controlled shooter. And I'm just going to read it here. So if the six and eight hit, they pay 42. We're going to add two dollars out of our bankroll, and then we're going to press 44 inside. If anything else hits, we're going to get paid 50, and we're going to drop. $16, and we're going to press 66. And we're going to power press the inside for three hits. Three hits, folks. Three. And then after that, we're going to pull down to 66 inside, and we're going to do whatever we want to do from that point forward. So let's see how well this works. I only had to roll the dice. Well, three, three hits. It says power press. Let me just make sure it's not a fourth or third hit here. Power press the inside for three hits, and then on that fourth one, okay. So three hits is what we got to get. Doesn't matter what we hit. We're doing controlled shooting, so we're going to power press. All right. Got our dice. Good little spot. Good, good situation here. And we're going to get an ace-deuce. All right. Does not help us in anything. Got the shocker. Hit that bottom of that rubber just, just right. Stopped him dead, though. Wish we could do that every time. All right, got our grip back here. Got a good stance. And away we go. And we're going to get a 3-1-4. Check it out. Outstanding Craftsmaster journey. In the house. We love you. All right, so puck's going to come off. We're going to get 15 on the pass line. Move the stick out of the way. There's our 15. We're going to have to drop a dollar for our VIG. We're going to get 50. So here's what we do. We now, if I remember correctly, if we only get paid, oh, we got to drop 16 bucks. So there's 15. We'll drop a five. There's $16. And you know what we got to do? We got to press 66. So, get rid of those. One, two, three, four, five. And then I'll get the last five in white here. And we do exactly what it says we press 66. 
So, do 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 do. That's a fifty-four dollar bet on the six and eight, and we are at a seventy dollar bet. I think we can take the singles off. We had a fifty dollar bet on the five and nine. We'll take the singles off the top of those because it's going to pay seventy. Does just fine. Mainly, I don't know what the dollar pays. So we're coming out. Bets are off. That's our first press. Ooh, pinch myself. Ooh, pinch. Ouchie. Gonna leave a mark. The freedom from C Handy. Oh, look at there. We got a five deuce. The Karen. The you know what I like to call this one. The visceral hatred for the five deuce. But it's all good. Because we get 15 on the pass line. I'm just going to rack that up right there. Come out winner for us. A little off the mark on that toss, Chris. Come on, dial it in a little better. All right. We're set and good to go. I see our landing zone, and the dice are moving. And we got a 5-3. Easy 8. Coming out on that 8. There we go, because we're following the puck. Handy says we follow the puck, so that is what we are doing. We are following the puck. Got our 5-4-5-4 five, four, five, four again. Here we go, got the landing zone in, and the dice are out. And look at there, another 5-3, easy 8. Outstanding. That's going to pay us $63. So let's mark that 5-3. That's going to be 63. Plus we're going to get our pass line. And I'm going to pay it out because you know we got to press again. There's 50, there's 60, there's 63. I'm going to take one of these and change it out into some white chips here. All right, so we're going to press 66 again. One, two, three. Put that up on top. One, two, three. Put it up on top. There's three. Put it there. There's three. Put it there. And we're still going to put $12 back on the rail. That is an awesome day. All right. Dice are moving again. It's our second press. Bets are off. We got to get another point. Here we go. The 5-4-5-4 five, four, five, four here. All right. We are good. And we got the 2 by 4 Nice. The 2 and the 4 together. 2-4-6. Building together. Check it out. All right, so we've got two presses into this now. So this controlled shooting, we should be able to make it to four. I, I, I tend to think that he is correct. Here we go. Dice are set. Feeling good. Got the landing zone in. And away they go. And it's an AC Doocy. All right, the shocker. We got we to deal with the shocker every once in a while. It does come. It's all good. We're not worried about it. We got our 5 4 and our 5 4. All right, feeling good. Feeling good. Dice are moving. And there's a 3 2 5. No field. 5. All right, let's mark it up. All right, what does that pay now? One, two, three, four, five. There's 25. So that's going to pay 70 plus 21. 70 plus 21, 70 plus 21. What's 70 plus 21? $91. So we're going to get, I have to do it out the same way again. Let's go one, two, three, four, five. It's 50, 75, 90. One buckaroos. We'll take a five back here. Change it out to some white chips here. And we've got to, you know what, folks, we're going to press 66 inside again. 
Pressing, pressing, pressing. All right, we're still bringing back one, two, three, four, five. Oh, I could just change that up to a quarter. Still bringing back a quarter. All right, that is the third press. This is freedom right here. The freedom. Five, four, five, four. Got our dice, got our landing zone. And it's a four, one, five. Nice. Good hit, good hit. Now I gotta cover that face. All right, four, one, five, put that there. What do we got out here? We got one, two, three, four, five. Oh, look at that, folks. That is 105 right there, plus that. Five plus seven is $112. So, we're gonna get a nice 112 buckaroos, and this is where he says we get to pull down and we're gonna go 66 inside. So, let's put our 66, pull everything else down here, and we'll pull it all back to the rail and see what we got. Pull that out of there, pull this out of here, pull that out of there. Wow, that's a lot of money. A lot of money. Let's do a little quick color up because that's a lot of singles in there. A lot of red chips too. All right, there's a green under there, there's a green under there. Ooh, day. All right, let's see. We got one, two, three, four, five. Two for five. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. It's 15 right there. There's that. I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to try and clean up the bankroll real quick. Get us back to 2,000. Really see what we're at when we get through it one time. One, two, three, four, five. It's four. Make that another one. All right, let's see. There's a hundred right there. Is that a hundred too? No, it's not, but I can take. Now we'll leave it. There's a hundred bucks. Right there. So let's see. Let's fix the bankroll up here real quick. Make sure we're good. All right. There we go. Fix this. One, two, three, there we go. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. One, two, three, four, five. All right, bankroll is back to square. And we got, well, that's another 50 right there. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is what we're bringing back to the bankroll right there, $279. Nice. And now we get to play it any way we want. So let's just play it out. I'll tell you what, we'll do into a... Uh, how long are we into this video? 13 minutes? <sighs> Too easy. We got the 5454 five, four here. We're going to go with uh, press and collect type mentality here. Here we go. And we got a midnight train, the 6-6. Six, six. I don't know what that gives us. Do we hit a hall tall or a small or anything? I don't know. Let's see. No, nope, we haven't hit it yet. All right, well, we're gonna get the 5-4, five, 5-4. Four, five, four. We drifted right on that, but we did toss a little to the right of our landing zone. Good grip. And there's a 3-2 fiver. Check it out. 3-2. Fives are like crazy. All right, what is that? Almost three in a row? Almost. But that's going to pay us $21. And here's what we're going to do. We're going to press. That's, look, we can just press it all the way back to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 36. Check it out. We can go right back to 36. Not that that's a cap, but... That'll pay us 50 the next time we hit it. I like it. Got our 5-4. Five, 5-4. Four. Five, four.
And we are good and set. Landing zone's in, in line. And there's an ac C, the one deuce, the shocker. She keeps showing. Keeps showing up, folks. ac C. What is that, our third shocker? <sighs> Freedom! I don't know if that's the name of this strategy, but hopefully uh, Handy can let me know in the comments below. I just figured it, it really got you to freedom. And it makes a good little profit, too. And we got the 5 6 mid mo. Yo, Chiro's in his house. Chiro, Chiro, Chiro. Great channel. If you guys are not subscribed over there, you need to go check them out. Mid mo yo. All right, we got our dice grip. We're good to go. I see the landing zone, and the dice are moving out. A little low, a little low, but it's going to be a 6 3, easy 9. 6 3, we'll take it. All right, that's going to pay 21, but we're going to take it all the way back up to 36. I'll just take that away, make it 36. And there you go. At this point, you can just play any way you want. All right, dice are set. Landing zone's in sight. And the dice are moving out. Oh, we got the 4 3. Daggone. Daggone it. The 4 3 7. Bounced just the wrong way, folks. The 4 3. All right, nothing wrong with that. Had a good little run. What was that? 16 rolls. Nothing wrong with that. How much are we losing off the table here? Let's see. How much do we have out there? 50. We had 100. $103 out there. It's not bad, considering it didn't come out of the bankroll. All right. We're going to give this a shot. You guys know how I do with randoms, so I'm not going to play a pass line, but we are going to give a random roll on this because there is a different betting sequence to the random. So we're going to try the random, but I don't throw these dice on random. Those are my shooting dice. So I got some dice here that will throw random. We'll see how it goes. So we've got to get a, a point first. Uh, so here we go. Point coming out. And it's going to be a hard 10. The 5-5. Five, five. All right. We're on. Uh-oh. I got, sorry, some stupid thing popped up on my computer screen over here. Got to go take care of that real quick. Come back over here. All right, 5-5. Five, five. Okay. So, again, we do the same thing. We get the, we're going to use the profits this time. So, let's just put our profit out there. So we're not using the bankroll. Buy the four and ten. I'm gonna have to get some change here real quick. Do 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 do. Seventy-five. There we go. Is that enough? I don't know if that's enough. We're thirty-six on all these. Thirty-six. Thirty-six. I'm gonna need to get some more change. There we go. 36. 36. All right, we're bringing, we got $80, $85 left of the profit. So that's pretty cool if you can get it on a dice setter. So here we go. Dice are moving. Now here's, I'm gonna explain this first. So before I roll the dice. On random roller, you can play this tape, this strategy also. First two hits, you're only going two hits. And then on the third hit, we take everything down to 66, or we play it any way we want. But two hits, we press both. It's going to be a 44 inside press no matter what. So here we go. And we got a square pair. Jake and Rob special, folks. Jake and Rob. 4-4. Four, four. All right, another great channel. So that's going to pay 42. So we're going to get 20, 40, Two. Now we're going to drop a five out of this because we need two extra bucks here. 
We'll get three back into the rail, and we'll get two. And we're going to press 44 inside. All right. There we go. Dice are moving again here, folks. Dice are moving. And we got a 4-1 fiver. 4-1. All right. That is now going to pay... I'll have to take that... 50 plus 14, actually, we'll just say that was 28 plus 35. So 28 plus 35. I won't count the dollar because it should not, we shouldn't leave that dollar on there. So put those two bucks back. I guess we could have pulled those when we pressed and we didn't need to break that five because now we have fives and singles. So we are going to press, let's put our. 44 back there. We're going to press another 44. Should have been two. That was the original. Press 44. 35 plus. Yeah, pressing 44. I don't know what I'm doing here, folks. 44. Let's break that down. There we go. Press that one. No, did not press this one yet. Pressed. Pressed. And just make it simpler on my life. Take one out of the rail. Press. And then this is going to go up to the rail. All right. There we go. Wow. Took me a second there. All right. Dice are moving again. And we got the 426. The 2x4. Two All right. All right, so what do we got on the six here? We're gonna have to break that down. Do 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 do. All right. So that's gonna be sixty dollars, which is gonna pay seventy. So there's seventy, and we go down to sixty-six. So we're gonna pull everything out of here. Sixty-six inside. There we go. Pull it all back. All right. Let's color that up a little bit. Make it look neat. Actually, we'll just take it all and put it all back up in the rail. There we go. There we go. All right, now we are out of the hand for a random roller, so let's just see how long random Randy can last here. And we got a 6-2 easy 8. Now what I do on randoms is I'm going to collect and then press. There's 21. That's going to be a collect for me. All right, next one we're going to do some pressing. And we got another 6-2 easy 8. Back to back eights. All right, that's another twenty-one dollars. What we're going to do this time? Is, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. We're just going to press it up to thirty, and we're going to take this little bit of extra nine bucks back to the rack here. Here we go. And a midnight train, the six-six. All right, dice are going again. And we got a 6 3 easy 9. All right, that's going to be a collect 21. Right there. Racking it up. All right. And we got a hard 8, the 4 4 Jake and Rob square pair there. That's going to pay us 35. And we're going to take uh, we're going to take the 6 up to 30. Rack the rest. The freedom strategy. Freedom! 314. We are not on it. Big Joe from Crafts Master Journeys trying to give us, tell us something here. Here we go. And another square pair. Check it out. Wow, you couldn't ask for anything better. Jake and Rob are channeling some energy. That is a $35 win. We collect that one because we pressed. No, yes, we pressed on the last one. Press the six. That's what we did. 
Alright. Oh, and another 314. I guess we're going to have to get out there on it. Crafts Master Journey. Big Joe is talking to us. Ah, oh, never mind. Karen showed up. The five deuce. Five deuce, folks. Not a bad little random strategy. I like it. I like it. It's got it's got a piece to control. It's got a piece to random. And as as he says, if it's a choppy table, we pull down after we get out of it. You just wait out the shooter. But we didn't have to show that because I don't like sitting here with nothing to do and just throwing dice. So we started with a two thousand dollar bankroll, folks. We got five thousand, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, two thousand dollars. But here's all our profits, so let's see where we're sitting at real quick. You guys are like, let's see it, Chris. Let's see how well Handy did on this strategy. It's a cool little strategy. I greatly appreciate you guys sending them in. If you got a strategy you want to see rolled out, by all means, shoot me an email. It's in the description below. It's at the bottom. Shoot me an email. If you got something that you're just playing with on paper, it's in your head, you want to see it, you're not sure how to roll, by all means, shoot me all the details of it. I will roll it. Strategies that our viewers submitted are usually coming out on Saturdays, but they do tend to make an appearance throughout the week. Because I've got lots of them. So, here we go. Let's see where we're at overall. We got 100, 200, 300. Woo! There's four hundred dollars. There's four cent four eighty. Four eighty five. Four ninety. Four ninety five. Four hundred and ninety seven dollars, folks. That is three dollars off of a five hundred twenty five percent goal. That's not bad. I actually enjoyed that. That was pretty cool. Little str that that controlled shooter, you know, going for that fourth hit, you don't really realize it, but three hits, pretty okay. Two presses and then on the third hit, collect, okay. But really challenging yourself to get it on that fourth call, that fourth hit to collect, not bad. So uh, see, handy, I greatly appreciate that. We're gonna call this the freedom or freedom until you tell me otherwise. So if you drop a comment down below and you tell me there's a different name for it, we will change the name to that name. So as always, guys, thanks for watching. Hit that like and subscribe. And as always, until next time, I will talk to you guys later.